Boils and ghouls, good morning. It is another morning. It is another morning, and I'm like, ah, gosh, yesterday was kind of like relaxed, didn't have anything to do, and then today rolls around and is like, oh my god! <sighs> so I'm like running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Um, so I will say good morning, let's get the vlog started, and I'll see you guys on the other side with whatever may happen. It is not summer anymore. It's official. The heat is on. Summer's over. Nice. Halloween time! Woo! And now we are headed out to a mobile appointment in Auburn, which is uh, about a half hour away. Just under a half hour away. And I've been trying to think about like what's the best way to grab the camera to make it look like I'm grabbing your guys' necks and just going like because that's how I feel right now. Seriously. Every time I go up this hill, I always mean to get a picture of the creepy barns over here. Creepy barns. No, it's not a bookstore. That would be Barnes and Noble. I'm talking about the creepy barns. See, look at that. Up on the hill, surrounded by streets and roads. It's like this old farmhouse, old barn, just there by itself, sitting up on the hill, being a barn. Look at that. Creepy old barns. Hashtag creepy old barns. This sure is a beautiful, it's a B E A beautiful neighborhood. Because look at that. Can you imagine waking up to that? Look at that mountain. Well, I know you can't see it now, but it's there. You saw it just a second ago. I swear it's there. It is, I swear. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, stupid houses in the way. Ch stupid houses. Okay, hold on. Come on. I have a feeling we are going to go around this bend and we will see the mountain. We'll see mountain right there. No? No? Ah, oh, jeez. It just about hit us. Look at that. I hate getting hit by a mountain. Damn. That's pretty though. All right. Now we are headed down the other side of the hill. The spooky barns are going to be on the left hand side of the road and you probably won't be able to see them. But you've got this awesome, excellent view of the valley. That's kind of cool. Anybody see a problem here? Let me know when you find the problem. Just wondering if he's going to realize it. <laughs> hey, driver, your turn signal's on. I flashed him, let him over, and he doesn't want to come over. So I imagine he's just uh, keeping it on for decoration. Yeah. All right, here we go. One more time. Oh my gosh. What a busy, 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 very busy day. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, I've got Phoenix, my son, again. So that is totally awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Um, as of right now, though, Right now I gotta go and get parts, so we're back in the truck again. I'm sorry. The day is not over yet. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. Every bone in my body is aching and breaking and, and doing whatever bones do that's bad. Okay. Psh, how many guys remember that? Speaking of that, oh, I already said, oh gosh. See, this is something that a lot of you guys don't understand. Imagine filming yourself, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do the vlogging challenge, is that a lot of times you don't really, you don't, you don't remember what you filmed before. So you end up repeating yourself like multiple times during the day and editing most of it out because you don't want to sound too redundant in the end product. So just remember, every vlog is a beautiful canvas that's waiting to be painted. So all that raw material and everything during the day is what you get to fill that canvas with. And also remember that if you don't film it, you ain't got it. So if you're sitting there, oh man, I thought the camera wasn't recording. I'm gonna be like, no, I have to redo this. But no, if you if you don't film it, you ain't got it. So if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, gosh, I wonder if I should film this or not. Pull out the camera and film it. Because you only get one shot, typically. It's about time you ate. She hasn't ate all day. She is a great eater. She's the type of dog that you can fill her dog food dish full of food and you don't have to worry about her like scarfing it all down in one sitting. 
My mom said that she was a grazer. Is that right? Is that what you call that? Okay. All right, almost done outside. Almost. What time is it? It's only 9.17. Can you guys believe this? What was it, like a month ago at 9.17? It was just getting dark. And now the moon's out and, oh, here comes Puffy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you stay over there. You're not gonna get the kitty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure today's vlog is gonna be short because Buffy is short. No, that's not it. Um, today's vlog is gonna be short because it's just short. I was working all day, right, Buffy? Yes, yes. Look at her. Oh my gosh, the best dog in the whole world. She's like, let go of me. Look at them teeth. Uh, you're so ferocious. Look at that. You're so ferocious. Ferocious doggy. Alright, so, anyway. All I have to do is look at her. It's the look. It's just like... You will do everything I tell you to. Click the like. Just kidding. So, um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so I've been working all day, and now I'm doing paperwork. I gotta get the paperwork done tonight so that I have, uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but uh, when I have Phoenix, like everything else is like put aside because I have very limited time with them. So every minute matters, every minute counts. So that's what I do. All work and everything goes to the wayside. <sighs> so I have to get this done and then we'll do cock. I promise. I can't guarantee I'm going to film anything else, but we will do COC here in a minute. Probably this next clip, which kind of is frivolous for me to say it because it's going to appear in the next clip. It goes back to what I was saying earlier about repeating things when you're filming. It's a vlog time continuum. Learn it, like it, love it. But before we do COC, I had to give you guys a taste of Halloween. I'm sure many of you have already seen this. You're already familiar with it. And uh, be, so that you guys don't have to ask, no, I'm not getting anything additional this year. Um, uh, I'm not purchasing anything anyway. So there you go. There's the the, the Lemax uh, Spooky Town. Yes, awesomeness. Yeah, the one good thing about it is the volume is adjustable. <laughs> this is always the difficult part of the night. When I haven't edited yet, and I'm starting to do COC, I have no idea on whether to say, well guys, that was a long vlog today, I want to make this quick, or, hey guys, it was a short vlog today, I'm going to make it a long cock. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Today has been a day, I haven't even showered yet, and it's late, and I've got... Excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm just going to shush and I am going to, uh, 22 comments tonight. Can we hit them all? Let's try to do, let's, okay, I want to try and do that. To make things simpler tonight, <sighs> mistakes and all, most likely, unless I make a really bad one. Um, let's do a, uh, unedited cock. Are you ready? <sighs> I hate these. I, I like it for time. I don't like it because if I say something, then I sometimes I need to just shush. Okay. First comment of the night, Baldy Jack. First and first like. I'm back at it again. Troy, can you make a part in the vlog that's called Story Time with Troy? What would I say during Story Time? <laughs> Uh, and then Capazone 2 says, congrats on your win, woohoo. And Baldy Jack says, at least it wasn't Jolson. But Jolson always wins, so you know, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Robert Foster, second comment and like. Wizard Dolphin 84 <laughs> In bed. Jolson, I still win. See, told you guys. Oh, and there's three comments after that. Baldy Jack says, you still lose. Jolson says, uh, nope, I always win in the end. ha ha ha. And uh, Baldy Jack says, ha ha, you make funny joke. Okay, and I have to go and thumbs all these up just so that you guys know that I have seen them because I like to do that. I like to make sure. Do you guys notice that? I mean, do you get a notification saying, Troy has thumbed up your, th thumbed up your comment. Okay, I'm getting to the part where I should be editing. Matthew Rondell, ho. Thought. 
<laughs> no, I don't know. I, hi, I think you meant hi. Jolson, eight projects. Yeah, okay, so you are counting. Jolson, also, if you had to pick between a Ford Transit, a Dodge Sprinter van, or a UPS bread truck for the business, which would it be and why? Um, absolutely not a UPS or bread truck. Way, way too big for my needs, which also equates to high fuel usage. Um, uh, I, I, I'd have to take a look at them, but probably the Ford Transit, I think. But then again, the Dodge Sprinter is cool, too. Do they both? Can you stand up in both of them? Because that would be the one that I, I'd want one that I could stand up in, even though I know I've talked about before, like a, a E250 or a, a Chevy van. I don't know. I don't know. Fair useless words. That was fun. And you're talking about the Mad Libs. Jason Matthews, the X on the Jeep taillights is a tribute to the old metal gas cans on the old Willys Jeep. Is it really? Is that a fact? Because that, that's really cool. Joseph Blau, as of 9 20, 2016, 2 19 p.m. East Coast U.S. time. I'm 35th view and 12th like. And as, uh, gosh, what was her name from, uh, what was her name from what's that show? Wendy Pepper. I'm Wendy Pepper. No, oh, never mind. Okay. Stop it, Troy. Concentrate. Angel in the Dark 5. One of my favorite vlogs is Phoenix's second birthday tribute montage, 2014. I just got finished watching it again. Such a wonderful and smart little boy. I can just imagine how much he's grown. This reminds me. I have a package to send you. I'll let you know when to check your P.O. box. Oh, well, thank you. And, yeah, he is, um, he's quite the little guy. He, he's so awesome right now. And, and before, too. Carrie Ann Olsen. What are Haunted Mad Libs? Um, they are these things right here. They are Mad Libs. You might have to look it up online because I, I'm not many people. Some some younger people don't know what Mad Libs are, but these are Mad Libs. You enter like a, a noun, a person, place, thing, which equates to being a noun, and and like verbs and adverbs and like body parts. We did body parts the other day. That was cool. But it, it's a story, and I know it's upside down. But you fill in the blanks. And then it makes a story. So when I do my Periscope, I just ask you guys for, like, give me a noun, give me a body part, you know, whatever it asks for. And then after we're all done, I read the story to you. Pond of Frogs, I wish the back of the plate. What? Oh, you wash the back of the plate. I thought you you're going to wish the back of the plate. Oh, I wish I had the back of a plate. Sorry. Uh, Jason McDougall, I washed the back of my plates and bowls too. Awesome. So I know that I'm not the only one. Bob Ross, a 1959 Buick Electra. That's my dream car. Jason McDougall, oh, during cock when you yawn, that sounds like something Kurt Cobain would have said. Yawning is an inconvenience. Dude, it so is. So is sleeping. I love sleeping now. Didn't used to like sleeping 10 years ago, but I do really like sleeping now. It's still a major waste of time. We will sleep enough when we are six feet under or when we're blown in the wind as ashes. Final comment of the night, Tweety Fashion Dancer, October needs to come faster. I couldn't sleep last night because I want to be creepy and scare people. I'm going insane. I must be creepy. Well, then I say to you, be creepy. Do it. Just do it. Be creepy. All right, guys. Happy haunting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for thumbs upping and all that other stuff. Happy. I've already said happy haunting. Okay. There we go. I think we did it. I think we did an unedited cock. Cool. That just saved me so much time editing. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Or tomorrow morning. Some. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll say it like Trucker Josh says it. Anytime after 10 a.m. Pacific time. Ow. Oh, God damn it. I seriously just did that. Oh, crap.